Hi ladies, it's me, Pretty Witty 77 and today I'm finally going to get on video how I make my moisturizing mix. Um, if you're just now tuning in, I do moisturize my hair with a conditioner. It's a moisturizing conditioner. It doesn't have um, protein or a large amount of much it's pretty much a moisture based conditioner and it is hello hydration by herbal essence i love this so so much like really like i use it as a co-wash this is how i discovered it but it was like it made my hair feel like it wasn't mine i was like oh my god it feels so good so hey one day i was like you know what <laughs> I, I my moisturizer kept drying out and I eventually just end up putting this on my hair and just spritzing water on it and trying to, you know, dilute the thickness of the conditioner. So, push come to shove, time flew by and I said, you know what, why not just put this in a spray bottle and just use it on my hair? Because it made my hair feel so good. So, yeah, that's the story behind um, how I start using it as a, a daily moisturizer. Um, if I could find something to moisturize my hair with daily that actually worked for me, I would definitely stick to it. Like, But for now, this is my fix, my Hello Hydration uh, conditioner. So I do the moisturizing mix. And the thing is, I don't have a formula uh, just set to make it. Like I kind of do it just by what how I'm feeling. Or sometimes I'm in a rush, so... It never turns out the same. So I try to give certain people measurements like how much. But I don't, I mean, I can tell you about around how much I do. But it's never the same. That's the thing. So, um, and I also seen a video of uh, a girl who seen my video. And she was trying to make the moisturizing mix. And um, she messed up. <laughs> so I just decided to, you know, make it so you can pretty much um you know see how I make it and I feel like you can't go wrong with with this um if you just follow the order that I added to there because I think she messed it up because she put like water first and I don't know um so let's get started this is my spray bottle uh for my moisturizing mix so this is what I'm going to be making it in all of the ingredients are really really simple Hello Hydration Moisturizing Conditioner. I'm also going to be using Vegetable Glycerin. It looks like this, but any Vegetable Glycerin by any brand is fine. As long as it's 100% Vegetable Glycerin. And I'm also going to be using water. I'm not going to use all of this, but this is just my water spray bottle, so I'm going to be using this too. Um, now it's a lot of controversy around me putting the uh, vegetable glycerin in my moisturizing mix. A lot of ladies say it's good for like the summer, but during the colder months, it's not good for your hair. But I live in the south, like every other day is warm. <laughs> like I'm in Texas right now, so every other day is very warm. I mean, the climate is different. Like if you are up more up north, then you don't get like what I'm experiencing down here um try to just leave it out in the winter time or you know but it works for me and I'm just telling you you know what I work what happens with my hair so um first off the order that I added is always conditioner water and then the glycerin so let's get started okay since I have to do this on camera I start off I mean if I want to make a full bottle okay so this is the amount of conditioner that I'm going to be using uh, in my moisturizing mix it's about halfway so it's about 50% Next, I add my water, which you don't need a really, really lot of, just to just to loosen up this thick consistency of the conditioner. So, you can kind of see the water I added on top. It's basically like 
like a trial and error though. Like you see the water sitting on top of the conditioner. Not that much. I'm gonna add a little bit more water, which you probably can't see because I shook it up and it's kind of cloudy. But yeah. Okay, it's loose enough. You can kind of hear that it's looser. Like before then, you could barely like shake it with a mover. In my final step, I add my vegetable glycerin and I don't put a lot, just like, I like that much. Which I can't get, I wish I can give you a measurement, but I can't because I just play it by, you know, I just play it by hand. And that's how I make my uh, moisturizing mix. It's not hard and I don't make a lot of it. Like this is, if I don't know if you can see it, but it's like right here. So I didn't even make it. I didn't even fill it up to the top. And it sprays like this. So it's really creamy. And that's what I moisturize my hair with. And it feels so good. Like, girl. Can't be wasting this stuff. <laughs> so I hope I cleared that up a little, how I make my moisturizing mix. It's not hard, and you don't necessarily have to use the same conditioner that I use. Um, you can just pick your favorite conditioner. And I don't like to use conditioners with that contain like lots of protein. Like a, a lot of um, regular moisturizers do contain protein, but I don't know. I kind of like to keep my protein separate from my moisture so I can know what I need instead of like blending the two. But I definitely wouldn't try this with a conditioner that contain protein um, as it might make your hair a little harder. Um, you just keep putting that in on a day to day basis. That's what I think. Um, so thank you ladies so much for watching and you ladies have a great day.